Hi, Dr. Scott Jensen here. I took an oath, do no harm, and I believe it. That's why I got involved with a recent lawsuit regarding vaccinating 12 to 15 year olds. I've been criticized because of this 80 page lawsuit that was submitted, which I was not a part of and did not have a chance to review or have any of my legal counsel review. I submitted a one page sworn statement, which is an affidavit, and that's available online, and I've signed that. However, the full-blown lawsuit uh, is 80 pages, and I did not have legal counsel read it, nor did I read it or approve of it. I simply agree with the thrust of this lawsuit in the sense that we are trying to obtain a temporary restraining order against the Health and Human Services for vaccinating 12 to 15-year-olds. The data is relatively clear. 12 to 15-year-olds have virtually a 0% statistical chance of dying of COVID-19. I don't think informed consent has been done at the level it should be. I think that there's been a certain amount of scientific bullying that's gone on. There's been a certain amount of inducement or bribery to get these things done. I'm afraid that 12 to 15 year old kids might be inclined to go ahead and get the vaccine so they can play soccer or whatever without a mask. I think that there are some states that are entertaining the possibility of allowing 12 to 15 year old kids to make a decision regarding getting the COVID-19 vaccination without parental consent. And I disagree with that completely. Informed consent's a big piece. The lack of pharmaceutical company liability with this vaccine is a big piece. Emergency use authorization is not the same as an approval, and that's a big piece. And I think that we have this vaccine available especially for the vulnerable and the people with multiple underlying conditions, and they have been vaccinated. If you look at the case number, hospitalizations and the deaths, we are moving in the right direction. Why do we need to be hasty about potentially injecting 12 to 15 year olds when we really don't have the data we want? We've got a little more than a thousand kids that got the vaccine and were studied for a matter of months, not any longer than that. So I do, agree that we should get a temporary restraining order and I signed a one-page affidavit and nothing more than that. Thank you. Scott Jensen.